All right, everybody. Ye old fashioned Narsh review. So, just a reminder of how I do this every run. Uh, it's each character rated on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being completely useless, and 10 being absolutely essential to our team. And um, we do it at the Narsh review, we do it in order of appearance of the characters. So, that being said, let's start off here. This is a weird one, you guys. It really is. Um, so we have Four Eyes here, who I still have no idea what he's from. Um, he stole my glasses, I know that. Uh, but for the most part, he's okay. That, that, um, that Sonic Boom move, not the best. Uh, he does have X magic, so when he gets decent magic, I mean, he has cure right now, so he's able to, to heal us a couple of times. He's learning sleep, apparently. Probably was something I had equipped on him. Uh, double sleep is not very useless, <laughs> or useful, I should say. Um, but fire scheme, probably the best AoE we have so far. Fire scheme is definitely just wrecking people. Um, of course, we've already run into the problem that uh, always comes up with a, an elemental move. Eventually, things are going to resist fire, and fire skein is not going to be as good, which means he's going to drop down to just fighting or X magic, really, because that sonic boom move is not the best. Um, again, he does have a magic list. Cure and antidote's nice. Rasp, I guess, could be nice if, you know, very niche situations. Sleep, I doubt we'll ever use. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, he seems all right. I uh, have no idea why he's here, but he is our main character so far, so <laughs> there you have it. He, um, he's equipping this stuff, which is nice. I mean, we did just get a Blossom. I forget if it was doing anything dumb. Probably is. No, it's just Earth Attack, and it's a strong weapon, so, uh, he probably won't equip that, though, because he, he's just going to be fire skiing most likely. So somebody else that can equip the Blossom uh, will probably equip it that has less options like that. Oh, wait, he's the only one who can equip it. Never mind, Four Eyes is going to have the Blossom. <laughs> just <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think for him, because of the AoE right now, but because it can be useless fairly soon, I'll probably put him at like a 7. I, th I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll put him at a 7. Good AoE. He does have X magic. I guess we bump, it up, bump him up to an 8 because of that. But uh, he doesn't have good magic yet, so uh, we'll have to see. But yeah, I I'll keep him in eight, and an 8. That's good. Michael Myers, for some reason, is here. <laughs> he ran him in the lock spot. Oh, he needs healing. Cool. Bam. All right. um, so he got probably one of the most broken things in the game. So that second skill, uh, Poison Frog Love Token, right? So Poison Frog is, you know, pretty strong attack. Um, again, things can resist poison at some point. Uh, Love Token is the real, the real win here because Love Token, as I explained in the episode where we got him, uh, Love Token works on every single enemy in the game, including Final Kafka. What it does is it charms the opponent, and when they try to do physical attacks or anything, you know. Uh, under the banner of physical attack. They will jump in front of the party and take damage. So even if Kefka has like, if final Kefka has like a punch move or something and we love token him for, for some reason, he will jump over and punch himself in the face because love token is broken. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really, really good. It could get us through some pretty, pretty rough situations later in the game. Um, Morph we haven't used, obviously I'm waiting to see what the Morph Sprite is from the Tritox scene. Um, usually Morph is useless anyway. That's one of those skills that can't be replaced with the Replace Everything flag. Um, you're only going to use it maybe against bosses, and that's it. Um, magic, I don't know what he, he doesn't have anything in Magic, but he does have a Magic Command, which also bumps him up. And as far as equipment, he's using these uh, Katanas. Um, Kotetsu was healing the target. Ashura reverses cures. So the only good thing in here is the forge. But, um, yeah, that's his only way to really deal damage is attacking and poison frog. So we're probably just going to be love token and stuff. But, uh, because he got love token, uh, I would probably have to put him at least at a nine, you know, as far as use usefulness. So, yeah. Myers, definitely at a nine. Don't know why he's here. Hope he doesn't murder us. All right. Bew, 
be random in Edgar's spot. We've had him before. He is a veteran uh, returning. He uh, was our berserker in one of the scenes and just destroyed Kefka that one time. But uh, he's got a new profile picture, it looks like. And, um, yeah, he got slow to confuser, which is okay. It's a lot of status stuff, but it does hit everything, which is pretty nice. Uh, mind tech was mind blast and uh, tech barrier, which sucks. I mean, mind blast is pretty awesome. If you can kill with mind blast, then the tech barrier doesn't matter. But if mind blast does not kill, you're giving your opponent reflect. So both of his skills kind of niche, kind of not great. Um, as far as magic, though, he got Antidote, Drain, Scan, Stop. All right, kind of a, a weak spell suite, but um, mostly what he's been doing is equipping Mithril Knife and equipping a Kung Fu Suit, which our Kung Fu Suit uh, has X Fight on it, so that's pretty okay for him. He's But again, if your best option is to fight, whether it's X Fight or not, you're a pretty bad character. So, that being said, I'd put you at probably a 4. Four is probably the best I would give him, just because it is X fight and he's got a magic command. But anyway, also, uh, yeah, Bu, Bahamut Lagoon main character, which I know I keep saying I want to play on this channel and I will eventually, but uh, I'm just beyond chaos in right now, so we'll see the future. I promise. All right, so <laughs> uh, saving spot, Bu's twin brother ended up being a chicken that I named Choki after the fast food restaurant from Rocco's Modern Life, which is like one of my favorite cartoons that's ever existed. Um, so he's got Super Bowl as a command, which, as you know, pops up and says Bioblast. I don't know why. Probably because it's an item spell. But, uh, yeah, it bounces and does damage to the whole team. It, it's random damage from what I remember. Um, but it is AoE non-elemental stuff. I'm pretty sure it's not elemental anyway. Um, so that's pretty good, and it'll probably be better later. Um, and then he's got Imp Fire, which is Imp Fire Beam, which is kind of where he's been doing most of his damages with Fire Beam. Um, if only Fire Beam could hit everything, it'd be even better, but once again, it's elemental. It will be useless in some places. And he suffers from the fact he doesn't have a magic command. And if he did have a magic command, his magic power is 26, which is god awful. But uh, he is a chicken. Buck Baguck, indeed. Um, yeah, so he's okay, I guess. Right now, the only thing, again, he's doing is Fire Beam and Super Bowl to do damage. But, uh, yeah, I'd probably put him at, like, a... I'd probably put him at a 5. He's right smack dab in the middle, really, but... Yeah, he's, uh, he's a chicken. That's all you need to know. A green chicken on the map, too. That's pretty weird. All right, Shadow. Obviously a returning veteran, because he's just Shadow. He ran him into Cian's spot. Uh, and he has a pretty good AoE, depending. I mean, so Storm is Ice Elemental, if I remember correctly, right? It's either Ice or Lightning, I'm pretty sure it's Ice. But, uh, yeah, um, he cures the enemy first. It's just level 1 cure, so that's that's fine. If it was like Cure 3, then Storm, it'd be pretty bad. But just level 1 cure is okay, and then Storm is the big uh, Blizzard Orb attack. And it does okay damage, and if things don't resist it, it's pretty useful to, to clear out mobs and stuff. I imagine it might be pretty useful in the, in the nurse fields here. Um, but he also has magic command. Nothing in there yet, of course. Uh, and his magic power is 27, which again, yeesh. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what he's been doing, is uh, hitting with the storm. He's also got a trident he can equip that is a uh, water element. Um, again, elemental stuff, just scary to use, man. But, uh, just because he's got that AoE, I'd probably put him at, like, a 6. Because it's it's pretty niche, and it heals the, one of the, uh, one of the enemies. But, yeah, he's, he's okay. I dig him. He's a 6. Alright, still don't know who this character is, really, but, it, like, he looks so familiar. Like, he sh hmm. I don't even know, man. He looks so familiar to me. He looks like a Tactics Ogre mugshot, but then he doesn't. I don't know. God, dude, it's hard. I, I can tell he's from something, but I think he looks like Cody from Final Fight, so I named him Cody, and that could just be a side effect of having uh, fighting games on the brain like crazy lately. Um, <laughs> but he's got Rasp and Poison 
as a combo skill. Not great, but it's okay. It's a nice uh, go-to if his second command, Quadra Slicer, Quadra Slam, was it Slice or Slam? I think it was Slam. If that doesn't do a lot of damage, you can always go to Rasp Poison. Uh, yeah, Quadra, Quadra Slam is okay for AoE. He's basically CN up to this point. Um, and Magic, Antidote, and Fire. Nothing great yet, of course. He's only level 10. I did not level up our characters very much going through this time. Um, but yeah, he's he's okay. I like Quadra Slam. I'd still say he's probably a 4 because he's got such so little options. Uh, kind of like BU, you know? So yeah, Cody's a 4. But, you know, who knows? Maybe he'll get some freaking awesome battle power up just because he doesn't have his handcuffs on. Alright, and in Cell Spot we got Mog. He's got a really cool palette. He's also dead. Um, <laughs> okay. There we go. There you go, buddy. Stand up. You're alright. Yeah, um, so this is the character we're going to have in the World of Ruin. Uh, this is the problem with Monk. He had a really good chance to be pretty dang good. His magic power is freaking 50, which is great. And he's got Safe Plasma. Now, Safe Plasma seems like a pretty good skill, right? Because... I mean, putting safe on your uh, enemy isn't that bad when you've got randomizer skills and stuff that aren't all physical. That's not a big deal. But Plasma is a really strong lightning attack. However, it's random targeting. So, Beyond Chaos trolls me yet again. So, if it was not random targeting, Mog would be a great character. But it is random tar targeting, so there you have it. Um, so, yeah, he's he's... Man, he's bad. He's pretty much bad. <laughs> um, you know, the only... The, the weapons he can equip are the Mithril Knife, and that's like it. So, yeah, he's pretty much going to be relegated to fighting. I would put Mog at like a 3. Not great. But he is Mog, and he could be cool later. Um, he does have a magic command, so you never know. But uh, that's not what makes randomizers fun, is having a magic command. What's fun is getting cool skills, like save plasma, if they actually work, but yeah, he's, he's like a three. Um, also a character that's not present right now that gets a 10 out of 10 just because he's cool as shit is Warty, our buddy Warty the Frog. He has returned. I'm trying to remember what he had now. What the hell did he have? He had jump? I know that. Oh yeah, our beast. Jump and our beast. So our beast isn't a horrible skill. It's just pretty random. You kind of want to get Cockatrice. The the top skills you want to get are like Cockatrice, Wombat, Wild Bear, and Kitty for the haste. Those are like the best skills. The rest of them are kind of useless, but they have their, their niche uses. But uh, yeah, I like Wordy. He gets a 10 out of 10 just because I love him, but if I was rating him for real as a character, he'd probably get like a 7 or something because he's got some options. But uh... As far as the seed so far, I can't come up with a storyline to save my life here. All I know is I got a dang chicken, I got a moogle, I got Michael Myers here for some reason, I, a ninja, Cody from Final Fight, and this dude right here who, who I still have no idea where he's from. So, maybe we'll find a cohesive story as we continue here, but for right now, there's the, I'm, I'm getting, I'm drawing a blank, and you guys know how good I am at, at coming up with quick storylines and stuff for these. Damn, this one's this one's stumping me, but but yeah, we'll see, we'll see, guys. But that's the end of the Narsh review, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.